talk about something that my friend zone guys, if they complain about, is when your politeness is mistaken for niceness. How do you fix this? Well, hello, darling. My name is Erica Angelo. Erica's with an A. I just had a green juice. I hope it's not my teeth. That would be really awkward. But she's talking with slime. And I am the woman that men come to, not because I have slime in my teeth, but because I help men all over the world become the kind of man that women desire. And so when you are a polite guy and it gets mistaken for niceness, what happens? You get thrown in the friend zone and just like, oh, he's a nice guy. Oh, are you dating that guy? No, he's so sweet. He's such a nice guy. And so like, how do you create that polarity? Because that's what you need to do is create some polarity. And so that will kind of change things so that you're not just always the polite guy. Oh my God, he's just nice and he's polite and he's this. You want to remain polite, but you don't want to get D thrown in that zone of like, I'm just the friend zone, the D zone, the danger zone. You don't want to be just the nice guy. So typically people who are polite, you always want to be polite. But when you start getting interpreted as the nice guy, typically what nice guys do is they never state their needs, desires, or wants. Meaning, they're always accommodating to the woman, but they never ever say like, hey, I would like for us to go get coffee. Hey, I would like for us to go check this restaurant out. Hey, I would like to take you out on a date. Most of the times, what gets a guy stuck in this little weird dilemma is because he's not making his intentions known, he's not making his needs known, he's not making his desires known. Here's the thing, at the end of the day, none of us wanna face rejection. And most polite guys who get stuck in the he's just a nice guy category is because chances are you're not making your intentions known because you don't wanna face rejection. You don't wanna get rejected by this girl. And so you're putting yourself in that middle position as opposed to just saying, listen, I want to take you out. Listen, I find you sexually attractive. Listen, you're hot as, and I want to like spend some time with you. I want to get to know you. Yeah, you're super hot, but like what else do you have going on? That's a really good line. You can have that one faux free, faux free. So it's, it's making your intentions known. But when you're just polite and you're like, I don't expect anything out of you, nothing. Nope, you can just take from my politeness all you want. I'll never ask for a thing from you. That, my dear, puts you in the nice guy category. So if you're the guy and you're wanting to learn how to stand out with women, then I highly encourage you to apply for my new coaching experience. I've been talking about it a little bit here and there. It's all about equipping men to becoming those emotional warriors. The guys who stand out and get some damn respect. Can I get some respect in here? Can somebody give me some respect? Respect yourself enough to stand up for yourself and make your intentions known as opposed to avoiding rejection and just playing it safe and being over accommodating to women. No, no, no. Accommodate yourself by letting your intentions be made known. So if this spoke to you, tell me in the comment section below, does your politeness always get mistaken for just niceness? Like, oh, he's just a nice guy. Are you tired of being just a nice guy? Tell me in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell because it will let you know whenever I do my surprise live videos, which I've known for doing around here. Listen, babe, you have what it takes, but you got to step up for yourself in this. You really do. You have to differentiate yourself from being just a polite guy and the nice guy and going, I'm the guy with tensions. I'm here to pursue you, woman. I want to take this further. So make sure that you make that very clear and very known from the get-go, okay? Listen, you are loved. You have what it takes. Let's do this, champ. Let's do this. I will see you in my next video. You take care.